Yeah, so now we back at it. This is part four on how Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims only. Now in the Quran, it tells us that the Jews and the Christians will believe in him before his death. And he will be, speaking of Jesus, a witness against them. We know that Joseph brought back an evil report of his brothers. Okay, Joseph is Jesus in the types and shadows. There's so much we can get into when we get into Joseph. Because everything that's in the life of Joseph, you see in the life of Jesus. Think about it. Even Joseph was the father-in-law. Make sure we say in-law because these Israelite camps teaching that Joseph is the father. That is completely false. And I brought out how if Joseph was the true father of Jesus in the type and shadows, then that's basically saying that Jesus is his own daddy because Jesus is Joseph. Jesus having a supernatural birth is proof that Jesus is not God and Jesus is not his own daddy. You have to get this. You have to get this. Now, if you teaching that Jesus is God, then you're teaching that Jesus created himself. And we know that right there is not true. Well, what is Joseph doing in the picture? Why does he have this man walking around? That's his father by the name of Joseph. This is a picture of Paul. This is a picture of Paul. Have you ever wondered? If Jesus is not the father, if Joseph is not the father of Jesus, what is Joseph doing in the picture? Okay, Joseph is a picture of Paul. He's like dead weight. This man running around claiming to be the father of Jesus. Okay, when he's not the father of Jesus. And this is only because Paul in 1 Corinthians 4.15 says that he is the father of of the Christian church. Now, in the Quran, it tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that he is not the father of any one of his men. And Jesus, right along with the Prophet Muhammad, says that to call no man your father. Well, how come Paul is claiming to be the father? Because I keep telling you, that Paul was the father of Jesus. Now, let's go in detail. We have to go to the story of Joseph. Now, this is going to be Genesis 39 and 7. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. And she said, lie with me. Now, why does Joseph have a master? And we know that this is a type and shadow of Jesus. And this master definitely is not God Almighty. His name is Potiphar. This is the man with the fur. This is Holofernes, BKA Pharaoh. This is the man of the fur who was made for the fire. The apostate Paul. And this woman that's all over him is a picture of the Christian church. The church is all over Jesus and Jesus ain't got nothing to do with that Christian church because they lying. Notice she said, lie with me. Jesus could not be affiliated with a lie. Jesus said once in the Gospels, those who call him Lord, Lord, he will say, I never knew you. Get away from me. You that are working Iniquity, And amazingly, this is the guy that's supposed to have died for sin. So we know that the Christian church is Potiphar's wife. Verse 8, but he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master, what of not, that means no of not, what is with me in the house? And he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in the house than I. Neither have he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. 
How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Now, Paul is the master. He is the Potiphar. And he wouldn't even allow Jesus to be Lord of the church because he is Lord of the church. He killed Jesus on biblical record. And then he presumed to take on the office of a prophet. He presumed to take on the Deuteronomy 1818 prophet. And he's not done. Guess what he does? He presumes to take on the office of God Almighty, calling himself the Father. Now, how could Jesus be Lord of the church when Paul is the father of the church? Okay? Now, if you messing with this woman, okay, you sleeping with this woman, how am I going to mess with her? That's what you call adultery. And that's why Jesus has nothing to do with Potiphar's wife because she's taken. She's taken by Paul. How could Jesus sin against God by building a church on the back of another man who called himself the father? How could Jesus serve two masters? He is the one who told us that we can't serve two masters. And that's why he could not have anything to do with the Christian church. This is why Jesus is the Messiah in Islam. He's the Messiah of the Muslim. As it is written, Esau, he picked from the daughters of Ishmael. He picked from the daughters of the Canaanites. He did not pick him an Israelite wife. He went to the other nations. Just like Joseph, he started off an Israelite. What did he do? He ended up an Egyptian. His life story is being told over and over and over. Time will prevent me to go through Boaz and Ruth. Boaz, who is the kinsman redeemer. The Christians call Boaz the kinsman redeemer. How come his wife is not an Israelite? How come his wife is a Moabite? How come his wife is of another nation? Why? Because Jesus is the redeemer of another nation. Why is she picking corn? <laughs> How come Boaz is the man with the corn? The Quran. Get it, corn, Quran? Why Boaz got this woman picking corn and he telling this young man, hey, y'all leave that woman alone. He telling this young man, y'all watch over her. Make sure everything she needs, she get it. Okay? He was concerned about a woman that was of another nation. And guess what? She is in the genealogy of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 1. Rahab or Arab that Joshua saved is in the genealogy of Jesus Christ and Miss Ruth. <laughs> Miss Ruth is in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. She's not an Israelite. Israelite camp screaming all day. The kingdom is only for the Israelites. It's all about the Israelites. It's all about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Well, then how come this Moabite and how come this Canaanite is in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Now they're looking dumbfounded. Now they're making up an excuse. They're going to say, oh, oh, in the book of Judges, you know, they did what was right in their own eyes. Okay? That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, well, in the days of Judges, they did that which is right in their own eyes. Well, explain what happened in the days of Joshua. When God sent a man by the name of Joshua to send two spies. And they saved Rahab, Arab, alive, her and her family. And that's the truth. When you look at Rahab and when you look at Ruth, you see the truth. The truth is in Ruth. The truth is Ruth was a picture of the nation of Islam and Rahab was a picture of the nation of Islam. So now we're going to close. I don't want to put too much on your plate, but 
I want to end with this. There was a rich man clothed in purple. And this man clothed in purple was a picture of Paul. And there was a poor man by the name of Lazarus, which is a picture of Christ, okay? Now, this rich man was the first person to ask to be able to come back from the dead. He is the first person to want someone to be raised from the dead. Now, think about it. This man was in hell. The first person to even mention raised or rose from the dead, look in the Bible, was a man tormented in hell. That's Christianity. That is Christianity. Christianity, man, is the fuel for the fire. It is the religion that God hates above all other religions on the planet. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.